Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make a little gift place setting for a child's table. I know at Thanksgiving, we usually have the kids sit on one table and we sit on another, so I'm going to show you a sweet little gift to put on the kids' table for their place settings. You're going to start off with a piece of paper that is 7x7, seven seven, and this is from one of our new collections it's called it's from paper house it's called autumn wood and that's the other part of the paper it's really pretty this was included in the project life kit that we put up this month or last month it is um, I think we only have one maybe one left of that kit and I will link it below if you're interested in getting that last one but cut you a piece of paper at seven by seven then we're going to do a little bit of scoring. And I'm scoring from this end. You could score it too if you wanted to, but I'm just going to score from this end because it's a lot easier for me to hold my paper and get down here. And you're going to score it two inches all the way around. So if my paper's seven, I'm going to come back to five. I'm going to score it five. And all the way around on all four sides, you're going to score at five inches. I think we've got that scored. Yes. Okay, go ahead and do your folding. Now you're going to cut up, and I know it's going to be hard for you to see on this, but we're going to cut up on those little marks right there where we folded it. We're going to cut up on the two on this end and the two on that end, and then we're going to notch it out just a little bit. And you're just going to cut to that score line, and I'm just going to notch this out a little bit on both sides. I'm going to use my larger scissors since I'm going a long way. There you go. You're going to turn it around and you're going to do the same thing on the other end. Now we're just going to take these two sides and put those in and all we're going to do is we're going to match up these corners right here just like that all the way around so I'm just going to use a little bit of glue this is our art glitter glue and by the way if you want art glitter glue before it starts turning cold weather you better get some now because once it turns cold weather they won't be able to ship it to us and we won't be able to ship it to you so order it now we've just put another large order in so hopefully we'll have that soon I think I left the top off of mine a little bit too long. There we go. So just match up your corners like that. And then do the same thing on the other end.
there you go. Okay, now you have a little box that should be three by three, and it is. So we're going to sit that right there for a minute. Now I used my Cricut, and I will leave the the file numbers and names below in the description as to where I cut these from. If you don't have a Cricut, you don't have access to a Cricut, then don't worry. Just go online and put in. Um, just go to Google and put in um, turkey coloring pages, uh, turkey images, something to that effect, and it'll give you all types of images that you can cut out that's a turkey. You can color them then or you can cut, out, cut them out with different papers, just whatever you'd like to do. So before I had a Cricut, that's what I did, is I just cut things out like that, or if you have stamps, you could always stamp them and cut them out from the stamps. You do not have to have a Cricut to do this. I just did it with my Cricut because I do have one and it makes it a little bit quicker for me. So I'm just going to do a little paper piecing. Put our turkey together here. goes right there. Whoops, I don't think I should have put glue on his head. So let's take that off. Okay, and then he has a hat somewhere. And then he has that this waddle, and I, I made his waddle yellow, just to match my paper. You can make the waddle or whatever this little thing's called. Whatever color that you want. The, the pink color that it really is. Here's his hat. His hat a little bit at the side like that. So there is our turkey. Now I went ahead and I cut out just the, this this comes in pieces as you can see and I went ahead and I cut out just the back piece the feathers and this piece and I cut them about a half an inch bigger than I did this one this one I think I cut at four inches this one I cut at five or maybe this one's maybe four and a half and this one's at five you know you can decide which way what size that you need it depending on your box but for this box you're going to need it at least you know, four inches, four and a half inches total in order to cover the box. All right, I'm going to cut off the little legs, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm, no, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave the little legs. We'll just let them hang down back there. I'm going to put this together. And then I cut out just gobble gobble, and that I'll leave the file for this one too. I can't I can't leave the link because it come out of my Cricut, and I don't know how to do that. But I can leave the file name and what cartridge it's on. And now you just need to decide which side of the box that you want to use. And I'm going to use this for the front. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little turkey just like that. And I'm going to just make sure that his little legs are close to the bottom of the box. 
I'll try to center him up if I can. There we go. And then for this, I'm going to put this in the back. Just look like we have a double turkey here. Or a turkey with a big belly, maybe. And then again, I'm just going to try to center this up. So there we go, that. Isn't that cute? And you could use a solid cardstock here if you wanted to. I just thought this was cute with the leaves on it and it had the colors that I used in there. So then, on the sides, I'm going to put gobble gobble on the sides of it. Because that's what those little kids are going to do with it. What we're going to put in this box. They're going to gobble gobble it up. I know my grandkids will anyway. There we go. Gobble. And then another one on this side. And I'm just touching the glue in different areas. That's what's good about this fine tip. You can just put a little drop on there. So there's our other cobble. Isn't that cute? I love that little turkey. You could also put their name. If you want to write their name, you could write their name right there across the turkey's little belly. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to fill it up with some candy. And then give this to them and send them home with Mama, right? <laughs> Okay, guys, that is it. That is our little project for today. I think it's super cute. Give it a try. If you do, uh, leave me a link or share it with me on my Facebook, wherever. I'd like to see what you come up with. We will leave the links to these two files in the description below, as well as the link to this paper uh, collection. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.